and on welcome. This time we're gonna check out wholesome memes. And let's see how out of touch I am. <laughs> I don't know. I just have some fun. But the first one over it seems like a winner. <clears throat> you want to belly rub? <laughs> Got a dog to guard the house, but then <laughs> Oh my god, this face. <laughs> I actually much prefer a dog who's, who's, who's cuddly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. At this point, just open the fucking gate, okay? <laughs> just just let people come in to pet your dog. They're not gonna take anything, they just wanna pet the dog. He's guarding the house against sadness. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking hell. I love that dog. Uh... Passing on skills? <laughs> Dad, can I use your tools? You bet. That's going to add poorly? Oh, come on. I disagree. I, I think it will start poorly. Oh. Uh oh. I, I like I like that. I like that a lot. But who knows how it will end. Smash, bank, crash. Just finished. Uh, fixing the roof, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Viri. Oh, this is very smart. This is very, very smart. I like this. You rarely see it in a in a in a joking format that that mastering something or even just getting good at something is just fucking up all the time. That's what you do. Learning is basically learning is making new mistakes. That's that's what learning is. And you're gonna fuck it up when you start. And you're just gonna keep fucking up. And you're just gonna get a little better, I guess. This is pretty smart. I like that. You know, this is just like a good way to, to uh, tell to this audience that getting good at something just takes time and you're gonna suck at it initially. So I'm really warming up to this uh, subreddit already. <clears throat> Happy holidays, Dad. I'm wrapping his uh, Christmas gift. <laughs> a cardboard box! Just what I wanted. Dad, you have to open it. <laughs> oh my god. The box is good enough. Proceeds to shake the hang out of it. Holy shit. Like, imagine getting like a, a box of... I don't know, you would not get like a, a box of plates, but <laughs> that, would, that would be funny in this scenario. <laughs> Even if you get something uh, uh, technical, electric, you know? Just shaking it is not the best idea. Just just, to, just to be careful with your shit, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Lo Lovstein makes the best wholesome comics. <clears throat> A ghost of future Christmas. Where are you taking me? This is the future. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> wow, you're gonna live for nine uh, years? That's pretty sweet. There's still n snow. Fresh water. Clean air. Wow. <laughs> We beat climate change. Oh, this is so wonderful. <laughs> oh my god. What? That man got to age 92? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Wow. These are, these are actually wholesome memes. I guess I wouldn't like to know when I die. Especially if it's like tomorrow. We're in 10 minutes. <laughs> uh... But ultimately, you can always do things in the now. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, this uh, subject is making me more uh, philosophical and uh, maybe talk about psychological topics a little bit here. But uh, yeah, I, I don't mind it. Rest in peace. What? Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, cat. Is, is he dead? Oh. Very wholesome memes right there. Just the feels right. Why did you do this to me? <laughs> oh man. I don't know what to say. Obviously it sucks. Death sucks. No matter who it happens to. Okay. I miss my GMA. My 70... Is that supposed to be grandma? My 79-year-old grandma has a meme framed. Going to grandparents' house? Leaving grandparents' house? 
That's so fucking true. But I, I guess, yeah, I, I don't mind it, you know? I don't mind it. You just you just have to be cons uh But the only problem with it is that if you have more people to visit, you know, I don't mind uh, eating like a pig for one person. Just, just, just for a special occasion. But if it's like, you know, if it's like multiple people, like visiting multiple grandparents and they both want to do the same, same thing, it, it doesn't work out. It just doesn't work because you're always over, or going to be failed. Or both of them are just going to be like, they just want to feel like, you know, they, they, they did like, you know, they gave you a really good day. You know, they gave you a really good day. You know, they just... They just share their love with, with food. And that's that's awesome. I, I, I really, really appreciate that. So, you know. I, I, I think we're just a little bit getting away from that. That, you know, doing these simple things are actually just really huge. You know, like cooking for somebody. That's amazing. Uh, this should be how they decide. Wait. Were there any good comments? Let's check. <clears throat> okay. I see your woman of culture as well. How adorable. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be pretty common. All right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> your pet decides if you go to heaven or hell. He knows you best. <clears throat> How do I do a dog voice? <laughs> no, I can't. Remember when you left me at home alone? Saying that you had to work? <laughs> uh, well, they don't have that here. We can play all day long. I miss you. Wow. Very wholesome memes. <laughs> <laughs> but why so angry face, doggo? <laughs> and okay, fine. Believe me, doggo. I I wish. I wish that as well. Uh, thanks, Graham. Graham. Uh, my family leaving me out during presents because I'm too old. My grandma gift card. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it goes. When when you grow up, you just stop receiving presents, and if you don't have kids, and you don't have like a, a gifting agreement with your friends, then that's it. It's just just Christmas just stops stop existing in a way, because well, I suppose adults give each other presents in in some families, but usually, or maybe I don't know, I, I can't generalize here, but you know, it, it it's the kids that 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 are guaranteed to get them. And adults are more like, hey, we got some booze, we got some good food, that's it. And I don't mind that because it just takes after some pressure of like, oh my god. You know, what can you get this person who can actually buy whatever the fuck they want? Here's some booze. <clears throat> uh, my grandma from Austria always remembers me on holidays and sends me uh, gifts like 50, 50 euro Steam card. As an early Christmas uh, gift this year. And also, pretty much, uh, like, Steam gift card? Not just like, I don't know, <laughs> something dumb, but like, yeah. I mean, that that's relevant. That's that's very relevant. And uh, instead of just like, that that's pretty cool. I, I think that's pretty cool. Like, ultimately, this is kind of like giving money <laughs> to somebody. <laughs> but I, I guess that's not that counts. Like, I have no problem with, like, you know... Like, receiving or giving money, I guess. Like, I guess, okay. Like, that's not very personal, ultimately, but, like, you know, I don't know. Uh, get prepared for this new year. Ha ha ha. Goodbye, 2019. Now things will get better, 2020. <laughs> will it hurt? What? No. We are going to work together for this to be a good year. But why... <laughs> Were you drawn this uh, strong? I go to the gym? Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. I say, if you make... Uh, if you want to make a commitment... Uh, to... To your health. To work out more. I would actually recommend against, perhaps, going to the gym. Because you want to make a change that is uh, gradual. You don't want to make a change that's, you know, like... Like, that's just kind of, kind of like uh, not knowing how to swim and, tr and like, having a, a plan to, you know, swim across a lake or an ocean. Like, you, you, you kind of go into very gradually. So, you can just you know, go with, like, some morning exercise, you know? And if you feel, if like, feel like ramping it up, 
that's cool, that's cool. You can go for something more serious. But in my opinion, if you just establish like a, a plus one habit already, uh, that's already a win. Then you can go like plus two, then you can go plus three. You don't have to go like, fuck, let's go to the gym and work out. Like uh, my legs, my, my, just have like my leg day and like my fucking, I don't know what day. <laughs> just, I don't know, I don't do that. Okay, I'm, obviously I don't have a, like the full experience here. Like I, I, I don't go to the gym myself. I suppose it can be inspiring, but especially for introverts, if you're one, one of the introverts or you just feel ashamed of how you look, you know, that can take away from it. So, you know, you're just like, oh, okay, I, well, I, I want to get better, but like if there are some things that are like taking you back, like it doesn't need to be super difficult. Obviously, you should be super proud of whatever achievement you make. <clears throat> Damn, this, this session is not very, uh, infor well, not very funny, I guess, but this is more informative. These are, this is pretty cool because I, I feel like humor is a very good uh, way to convey information. It makes people receptive. And and a lot of these are, are actually very good uh, ideas. So, you know, just like not forgetting about your family members. I'm, I'm actually loving this uh, this Reddit. I, 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 I kind of expected a positive reaction, but like this is this is pretty cool. Support the parents. Uh, go and make me proud. Hold lots of tea and uh, coffee and tea. We're back. Oh well, I'm st I'm still proud of you. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is pretty cool. So another lesson about uh, just loving your children for who they are instead of uh, what you expected them to be. And uh, I suppose letting them go. And uh, because ultimately that's the whole point, you know. Like you let them go. And that's the point that they come back. Okay, P pretty cool. Very wholesome. <clears throat> oh, I feel like this is gonna be a feel story. Our youngest is home from university from the uh, for the holidays. When he moved out, we cleaned his room and put some stuff in storage. He was very cute. Uh, that was a very cute mug he used uh, to store pens, which I washed and uh, stored with the mugs. Yesterday, in a concerned tone, he asked about the mug. I let him know where it was, and he let me know that uh, that mug is for pens, not coffee. When you know, you know. <laughs> okay. What else we got here? I love my parents. Oh my god. <laughs> my parents. Uh, the way my parents see me. Yeah, that's again very positive. And wow. I'm actually loving this subreddit. So the thing is here is that believing in yourself is a, such a critical I would say like that that's a mandatory for, for doing anything. That that has to precede any action. You cannot you cannot really do an action without actually trying it and believing you can do it. Because if you have a defeatist attitude you just believe that you can't do something, you will never try it. You may be pushed into trying it, but that's outside influence. If you're just talking about yourself and you think you can't do something, you you might try it very half-heartedly, but usually you don't even try it because you think you will not be good at it or you fail, whatever. But others believing you that you can do it, that affects your view. And of course, obviously, you should believe in yourself, but believing in others is pretty sweet. And uh, it could be really a big bummer when, you know, like, others just don't believe in you. Like, you know, they, they obviously have, like, uh, they obviously maybe, like, caution. Maybe, they, maybe maybe you know, they, they just they just believe proofs. But ultimately, I think you just gotta, in order to do something, you have to believe in it first. And if they if they only believe in you after you've done something, that, that could be, that could be a, a bit much, you know. They're not doing anything wrong, but, like, they don't believe in you until you've done something. Which could be uh, not the best. They could be still nice, but not the best. Me too. <laughs> this doggo. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, by the way, I love the artist. I guess. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas, a ball, ball, ball. Merry Christmas, buddy. I I wonder what it is. Well, ball. 
<laughs> is this supposed to be uh, more thoughtful? And then it seems. Than just getting what you want. It might be a ball. Not sure. We'll have to do more research. Alright. Uh, let's just go with ball here. <clears throat> a checkmate. Uh, remember to check in with the friend who just moved. <laughs> the friends who's been quiet lately. <laughs> The friend who seems to have it all together <laughs> and yourself. Very wholesome right there. This is more like an extrovert uh, thing. Introvert is like I, I just I just do my thing. Yeah. I guess it's nice to have extroverts in your friend circle. Introverts are more like, you know, I'm just doing my own thing. If if they if they feel like reaching out, they reach out. That seems a little selfish. When it com comes to my agree uh agree boldness score. I'm only like average-ish, so, I don't know. Uh, I'm talking about Big Five there. I say like there are more touchy-feeling people out there than me, but I'm, I'm okay. When, when I'm quiet, everyone uh, seems to forget me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what we got here? To be fair, that's not only me. That's, that's a lot of people. Uh, aim for progress, not perfection. 2020 habits for long-term success. And ultimately, it's always about two people. You can't just expect the other people to contact you. Okay, 2020 uh, habits for long-term success. Work out every day. It's, that's not it. Work out more. Okay. The thing is, you can't do things in the future ever. Because you, can't, you always only live in the present. So let's see what kind of plans are these. I, I don't think workout every day is very future oriented and habit uh, habit establishing. I don't think that's a bad thing, but you shouldn't be starting out that way, I, I suppose. But it's not too bad. I don't think this is terrible. Workout more. Workout more, I don't like it because it's super vague. You know, what was workout more supposed to mean? You need specific plans. Aiming to eat perfect. Yeah, that's obviously terrible. Super vague. Aiming to eat better? That's also beautiful. <laughs> you need to like, what am I eating right there? Uh, feeling discouraged during a low? Okay. That's, you know, ultimately I, I thought about that. And there is, uh, well, obviously not just thought about it, but like, uh, you know, looked into sources. And feeling a little discouraged is not necessarily a bad thing. You know, you a little bit beat yourself up, but it's like, you know, just pump up like, okay, like, okay, I, I'm a little bit low, but like, I can go up. It's not the best thing when you just, you know, don't feel discouraged at all. Uh, ever. Necessarily. That's kind of like me. I just like, uh, I have a very uh, calm attitude, which is not necessarily the best thing. Understand that highs and lows are normal. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good, but actually not necessarily. You don't have to go on the crazy roller coaster because... At all, you you don't that that's more like the neurotic uh, behavior right there. <laughs> so you just you just uh, experience everything very uh, very intensely. But you don't you don't have to beat yourself up or you know. I don't know. That but that's that's good. But I'm not loving this overall. I I think this is a uh, a little superficial here. Work up more is a terrible plan. <laughs> Aiming to eat better? No. I mean, understanding that high ends and lows are normal, fine. But this doesn't really help you like, okay. But that how do I deal with that? That would be the follow-up question right away. So, I think both of these are correct. One thing, a quick, fast solution. There's, there's no quick, fast solutions in a way. You just some solutions that you work on, I guess. Enjoying the slow, consistent progress. This, I don't know. I'm not sold on this one. Also beat the crap out of a, a car daily for the real win. Alright. Aim for consistency, not perfection. I would say aim for process, not outcomes. Uh, that would be a better tip right there. But uh, I appreciate the effort. It's, it's more plus than minus, but it's still kind of a minus for me. Uh, but I, I guess this is not exactly a psychology uh, subform. <clears throat> I love my parents. Uh, thank you, mom and dad, for everything you do to, for me. I love you guys. Pretending to be asleep so your dad can bring you inside from the car. <laughs> that would be really hard, dad, now. <laughs> I'm a big boy. 
<laughs> oh man. Okay, very wholesome right there. But not much to talk about. Helping out? Alright, last one. Uh, she loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. Not, not, not exactly how you should go about it. She loves me not. Oh. Okay. Cute, but... Mm -mm. I feel bad for the flower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not the best to be so emotionally invested into... Uh, so attached to the outcome of uh, relationships that you have not even engaged. Like, you know, you... She wants to, I mean, he wants to uh, ask out this girl, just like, wants a relationship. And I I'm overthinking this. <laughs> that happens. But, uh, yeah. If you're if you're very emotionally invested. Uh, just example. Like, you know, you see a, a cute girl in the bar. You just like say, hey, hey, why? Hey, hi. Uh, you look great. Uh, you want to grab a drink? Uh, she says no. You say, oh, cool. But if you like do this shit on the field about jerking off and your crush says no you're gonna be crushed too so no not exactly the perfect uh, solution because you're very emotionally invested in a, a particular expectation and a particular outcome so not the best all right let, let's go one more then then call it quits <clears throat> uh, grandpas are the best my grandpa telling me that the, uh, the same story for the 16th time already me trying to act interested because he's awesome and deserves lots of love. I'm actually pretty bad at this. Uh, I have a... I like... Okay. I like I like new stuff. Which is a bit of a problem. But yeah. I mean, this is sweet. This is sweet. I definitely heard uh, the story... The same story many, many times. As well. It's kind of cool. Because... They, they could say it from a different direction, a uh, different perspective. Because they might say the same story. I don't know, I just assumed that he didn't say the same story. Uh, 16 times in one row. But like, you know, if you say one story, like 10 years ago, and you say that same story 10 years ago, that's not the same story. Because you see it differently. So, that's cool. Anyway, guys, I guess that's it. We can check out one comment. My grandpa passed, passed away in 2003. I was seven. I still have few vivid memories of sitting on his lap and listening to his stories. Would be great to hear him uh, tell them again. That's sad. All right. See you guys. And have a good one.